Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 60. To start off, we'll go to File, New and double click on the part template. And as we have the part template open, let's go to the sketch and click on the sketch tool. And let's decide where we need to start the sketch. So let's do it on the top plane. And I would just create this uh, triangular figure here. So to do that, firstly, I'll just create three circles, one here, one over here, and one I would uh, create an axis first. And what I would do is select the circle here and go for mirror entities and mirror about this axis. Oops, select, go for mirror entities and select mirror about and select this axis and click on the tick mark. We have three circles now. What we can do is to select three of these circles and go for equal. Click on tick mark and now select and give diameter for one of the circle. That would be 10, right? All right, now we have that. Now we can create one more circle series. One, two, and three. Now similarly, we can control select three of these circles and go for uh, equal once again, click on the tick mark. And this time again, we can give the radius of the circle as uh, 12. Oops radius is 12 means diameter will be 24 so that will be 24 here all right tick mark now the next thing to do would be to create a line just draw a line here and then use tangency command to give tangency here oops tangency tick mark similarly you can give tangency over here as well tick mark Again, what you can do is create another line here, horizontal, and give tangency over here as well. Tick mark. And also, give tangency over here as well, right? Good. Now what you can do next would be to trim this portion. Trim this portion as well. Oops, and also you should trim here, so we can trim it here. Now select that line select this line here and go for mirror entities and uh, mirror about oops mirror about uh, this axis click on the tick mark and now we have that created now what you can do is use a trim command to trim unwanted portions tick mark and also finally give dimensions so from here to here it is 60 so from this center to this center it is 60 right 60 all right now from this center vertically it is 42 so oops, 42 it's 42 right 42 all right now we have some lines changing its color to black we want uh, we want that to happen to all the lines so what we would do would be um, okay I'll just press the escape key and just try to move. Okay, 
you can see that's still moving so you need constraint somewhere right yeah so what you can do just select the center of the circle here and select this origin here and go for horizontal and you can see suddenly the whole sketch turned black that means it's fully constrained exit the sketch now and what you can do is just give features extra boss and base and give the thickness over here as the boss length and we have that portion created now what we can do next would be to mm, yep you can uh, select this face and go for a sketch and just create one and two and then simply draw a vertical line and then draw oops vertical line and you can simply select this line here and go for convert entities and uh, give an axis line and uh, make tangency a relationship over here tick mark and use a trim command to trim this portions off right and use the dimension command to dimension the diameter as 40 all right and this uh, diameter as 15 right 15 all right now select this line here and go for mirror entities and just mirror about this axis I just keep doing the same thing uh, mirror about this axis here and go for tick mark and use the trim entities to trim this portions off and uh, extend entities just to extend this just use the extend entities okay now it's extended right just use trim and trim this portion now what is remaining what you can do is to um, yeah this height that will be 22 right 22 so from the center to looks like the bottom so from here to here looks like it's 22 that's what i think uh, no it's not i think so we'll just delete this so looks like this is 22 yeah from this center to this face will be 22 right yeah that's 22 now we have the sketch fully constrained exit the sketch now now we can perform the uh, extrude boss and base and the thickness would be 14 right 14 and you can give a reverse direction here tick mark now we have that done as well now finally what you can do will be to create this um, stiffener so to create that what you can do is select this face here and go for the sketch you can simply draw a line downwards right and uh, draw a line in this direction upwards and trim the remaining portions all right and now this height would be again 22 so what would be better is to just um, drag this point and keep it here right and now this length is said to be um, where it is touching is not really mentioned so I'll have to okay what we can do is just take this line and go for convert entities no not convert entities 
what you can do is just drag this line backwards until you touch that line there right yeah until you touch that line there so you have that right yes you have that touching over there now you can simply exit the sketch now you can simply go for extrude boss and base and give a thickness of 5 in the reverse direction tick mark we have that created right now what you can simply do is select this boss and base and go for uh, mirror mirror where is mirror yeah mirror and uh, what we can do next would be to mirror it with respect to the right plane click on the tick mark and we have that created as well now finally you gotta create fillets over here so you can take both of that and just give a fillet of maybe five all right maybe five is just uh, crossing the boundaries here so maybe i would prefer to give uh, three maybe less than that maybe 2.5 or 1.5 will do i think yeah that'll do so that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you and stay tuned thank you for watching if you have any doubts on this video put them on the comment section and i'll try to respond to them as early as i can if you think my videos are helpful, hit the like, subscribe and share button. If you're interested to get How Engineers Do It t-shirt, you can get it by contacting me. I've put an image of it on the next slide. Here's a t-shirt. If you've got any CAD related requirements, don't hesitate to contact me anytime. I'm always looking forward to work with you. You can personally get in touch with me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you for your time and stay tuned.